Positioning through life. It's something that I think we don't think too much about, but it has an awful lot of answers to the questions that we have about ourselves. And I often think about the transitions that we go through as guys, as men, that slowly shift and evolve as we're going through, okay, as we're going through life. Now, if you think about us, if you think about us in our 20s, Okay, this is a period of time when we don't really ever think about getting old. We don't really ever think about the things that are going to happen in the future. It's very much about chasing girls, going to the gym, finding a new car. It's very egotistical world. And it's very about having a good time, having a party. And, and, and we don't necessarily overthink. We don't always naturally struggle mentally or emotionally. Um, and I think quite a lot of that is because of the subject that we spoke about um, on Monday, which was about responsibilities. OK, it was about talking about those responsibilities that are weighing us down a lot of the time. But at some point in those 20s, in some point in those 20s, what will end up happening towards the end of your 20s in that 10 years? What usually happens is that we end up finding somebody and all of the partying all of the sex, drugs and rock and roll slowly dwindles and then suddenly we start to become responsible to somebody, to something. Okay, um, and then we slowly slip into our 30s and the 30s is kind of like when we start transitioning into a period of time of usually responsibility, family, mortgages, career, we start to think a little bit different and there's still an element of an us that, that wants the party. But I think that suddenly we go from like a free spirit in our 20s to somebody that's starting to be squeezed in the 30s. And this is when men start to struggle to understand how to look after themselves because they don't know how to live. Men don't know how to look after them. They don't know how to handle themselves. They don't know how to manage their emotions. They don't know how to be structured. Why? Because you've never been taught it. So you transition into your 30s and all of a sudden you've got a wife, you've got maybe two kids, you've maybe got a mortgage, you maybe got a job that you hate and you're going through all of these emotions and all of these stresses and you're like, what am I supposed to do? How am I meant to deal with this? No one's taught me this. And everyone's society will just turn around and say, well, get on with it, like, you know, do you know what I mean? We all go through it and we do and we adapt and we learn and we grow on, on, on the case. And, well, that's what we do, right? In theory, my job is to help men be able to handle their emotions better, their behaviours better, their actions better, to become a better performer personally and professionally and understand how to live again. And then we transition into our 30s and as we go through our 30s, there's a lot of hardship, there's a lot of learning, there's a lot of failures, but there's also a lot of great experiences with, with everything going on. And then we kind of transition to our 40s. Now the kids are a little bit older and then suddenly the problem becomes direction. Where am I going with my life? Well, like, <laughs> it's funny there because I'm describing myself. Where where. Where are we going with our lives? God, what happens when I'm 50? When I turn 50, is life over? And also, we go on this journey of like, oh God, do I want to change my career? Like, well, have I got a pension? Am I going to be financially secure? Bum, bum, bum. So we then transition all the way through this process, don't we? And just move this. And then we end up getting to our end of our 40s and then we start flapping because I've achieved all the things that I want to achieve at 50. And then we think about a big life change at 50 and we transition and we see the world completely different again. And by the time we hit our 50s, the kids have flown the nest. You then start challenging and questioning whether you're, you and your wife are. Have you been together because you've been with the kids? Have you, are you together because you love yourself? What's the next big, big move? The next big move has to be the right move because then you've got to think about retirement. And then you transition through the 50s and you kind of maybe in a really secure job. Maybe you're not in a secure job. Maybe you want to travel. Maybe you want to do something for yourself. We're starting to think about being financially free. And all of those pressures then come in. And then you hit your 60s. And then you're thinking about retirement, what I'm going to do after retirement, how I'm going to support my grandchildren. And do you know what I mean? So there's this, this transition line that we all go through. And every 10 years, we'll, we face different problems. We go through different emotions. But I like to think we get a little bit wiser, a little bit more understanding about our emotions, our behaviours, our actions and how to handle them. And 
I think as long as we understand what's going on in and around us, and I believe that the guys that work on themselves will handle it the best, the, the best. Those that don't will end up being this piece of tumbleweed and it will just, they're just tumbleweed through life and they'll procrastinate on finding help and they won't do anything about it and they just end up like crumbling and it sounds negative but it's so true i've been doing this for so long so long that i know the facts it's not negativity it's just the truth and the guys that won't don't work on themselves don't figure out the puzzle to solve the problem do you know what i mean they're not solving the problem they're just flowing through life in pain not understanding not knowing and it becomes frustrating and and i see so many families torn apart because the guy can't get his shit together i see many guys who will go down the road of drinking too much to try and cope and they just can't do it guys just thinking that they've got it sorted but they really haven't and we live and die by the decisions that we make right we live by the sword you you, know, you make the decisions when you go through life, either the right decisions, the wrong decisions, decisions that end up defining you, right? And that's quite right. Firefighting instead of thriving. And, and, and it's not until you get to the late 50s into the 60s that you go, my God, I've wasted the last 10, 15 years, right? Um, and and that, is the, that, is, that is life. That is life. That's when you kind of get, and I've met lots of 50, 60 year olds that have decided to come and join us. And they said, I wish I did this 20 years younger. I'd wish I'd done 15 years, but you didn't. So you have to deal with what you got. You play with the cards that you've got and that's where you are. And transitioning through life is tough. Transit for me, transitioning from the military to civilian life was tough. Transitioning to fatherhood was tough. Transitioning to fatherhood at this age is tough. But I'm lucky enough to like to have learned how to handle those emotions. I don't always do it right. Don't always get it right. Do I lose my temper? Yes, I do. Do I sometimes think, what am I doing in my life? Yes, I do. And that's just the natural evolution of life on always challenging in ourselves. And as we progress through the years, we start to, the things that we used to get annoyed about, we don't anymore because we stay a little calmer. And that's the beauty of working on yourself. Okay, you can always tell when someone's not working on themselves or showing up or reaching their potential because they never change. The things they get stressed about are the same things they get stressed about year after year after year and nothing's ever changing. And if we ever want to lead ourselves to lead those people around, if we want to reach our potential, then we have to make sure that we recognise that we might need to have an element of personal or professional development in our lives so that we can get through the next 30, 40, 50 years that we've got left and then we're on top of things. That's it. That's all I've got for you. All right. So um, next show is on, on Friday. So we've got next Friday, next Monday, next Wednesday, and then that is it to the new year. All right, amigos. Um, hope you have a great week. See you Friday.